हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू लर्निंग पाइथन सो इन द लास्ट सेशन वी जनरेटेड सम एरे एंड नो विल सी हाउ वी कैन इंडेक्स हाउ वी कैन गेट सम एलिमेंट आउट ऑफ इट वन और टू थिंग्स वी हैव ट्राइड नो लुकिंग एट हाउ टू गेट गेट लास्ट एलिमेंट बाय यूजिंग माइनस वन एज इंडेक्स एंड हाउ टू गेस्ट नो डिफरेंट सिंगल एलिमेंट वी कैन गेट विल सी वाट वी कैन डू बी ऑन दैट सो विल ओपन सेसन यू नो दिस बुक थ्री पॉइंट थ्री सेसन we'll open this in collab so that we can do something around it you know we can manipulate it so let it open so many time we don't need only you know the single value we need you know many values so we'll look at the way how we can do it since we'll be working largely with the numpy array in this session so we'll import uh, numpy library as np and we will generate some array so we are generating uh, sequential array np dot arrange remember 10 means it will value will go from 0 to 9 and we are taking the uh, cube of it so you can see we are getting you know 0 cube is 0 of course and then 9 cube is uh, 729 so we have seen in the last you know how to get the single element and of course to recall indices start from 0 so we can go to different and we can get but the thing we want to learn in this lecture is how to get multiple indices let's say we need second third fourth element so we are telling who we need index from 2 to 5 remember like in the arrange it does not go up to the last you know uh, element same thing is happening here it means it will have uh, indices of 2 3 and 4 but not the 5 so it is giving us you can see zero first second third and fourth element not the fifth one if we don't need you know second third fourth fourth or the element at the interval of 1 we can define the interval also so it means like arrange function it will go 2 plus 3 5 plus 3 8 not the last element of course similarly if we don't define you know the first uh, indices by default python assumes this to be 0 so it is similarly if we write you know let's say we can write either 0 to 6 written with an increment of 2 so it means 0 2 and 4 but not the 6 if we remove this one it means it will again you know it means 0 uh, 2 and 4 so if we are starting from 0 we don't have to define it the way we are accessing the element same way we can modify the element also let's say we want to modify the element at 0 2 and 4 so first we will define how to access it which means 0 we don't have to write it 0 to 6 with an increment of 2 so it means 0 and 2 4 and we can define any number to it so if we run it you can see at 0 second and fourth position now it has written you know minus 1000 or anything you want to write these are the very common operation we do when we do the programming we can also take increment of minus 1 then it will work in reverse way so it's splitting the last element then second last element then third last element and at the end it's the you know first element or the you know zeroth element so we can use minus 1 increment also or some minus other value of increment we can do operation over the entire uh, you know array so we are taking the square root the square root of minus is a complex number and simple number uh, you know uh, a numpy does not deal with complex number there are other ways to deal with it so it's giving nan nan means not a number so many time when we have missing data we can define it as nan or you know python will take care of it so that when you are summing it up or you doing any operation these are not accounted and there are some libraries who deal with how to take mean around it maybe you know just we can try it so let's define this thing we can call it temp variable so if we print temp you know we will get many nan if we print the how to get the mean so we can use this to get the mean let's not print this one to save some you know to make it clear so the mean is coming nan because when you have one element which is not defined summation is also not defined mean is also not defined so you get output as nan if you want to treat nan as missing value and compute the mean without it so there is a function called in numpy library nan mean so you can use nan mean so 
so you are getting a mean without the you know without uh, taking the nan value so there are ways we can deal with nan value but it sometimes the simple function may not be applicable or the over the nan part other things we can look at it is let's say we want to print all the values which are positive i'll create a new code section so let's say our variable is foo we can print it let's say we want to get some indices based on the condition we want to get all the element let's say whose values are between 1 and 10 so how we will say let's say who are you know greater than 10 let's say start with some simple thing so what it is doing output is now boolean output it's either true or false so it means at this element the value is more than 10 at this element value is more than 10 so you know the likewise so this boolean also can be an index so i can type foo and foo greater than 10 so i will get all the element which are greater than 10 so there are ways like you know sometimes you need to treat something as missing value let's say you say whatever is more than 100 there are some element or let's say more than you know whatever number you want to define treat it as nan and let's print foo okay these indices are defined as integer it should have been treated as float so there are various you know we can convert the d type but we can also multiply simply it uh, to convert into float so what it's doing now it's converting into float you can you change the dot uh, you know uh, you can change the type also so now it's treating because nan is treated as you know float so we are changing all the values which are greater than 100 this is very very commonly used where you can apply some conditions and do some very quick operations otherwise maybe you know you can run a for loop look at whether this value is greater than 100 or some other you know conditions you want to put and then change something so this this is the advantage of python or the numerical python you know you can apply a loop thing in even single line you can write and very quickly you can achieve this so that's all in this session you know where we discussed about various way of indexing or getting the element out of our array or you know multi dimensional array and then see you at the uh, in the next session thank you